Hello, and welcome again to Gan Jared's Toy Reviews. After a long hiatus, here I am. Not at my usual table, but at my parents' house. For vacation. I'm not poor. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Anyway, today we're going to be reviewing something I picked up at Comic-Con. No, six. Um, they're fairly unique. These are the Kingdom of Loathing Tiny Plastic Figurines. These are made to be modeled after the tiny plastic figurines that you find in the web game, Kingdom of Loathing. Um, I got back into Kingdom of Loathing just recently after a couple of years hiatus, and uh, now I'm addicted again, so I'm going to review these. They run, if I'm not mistaken, about $20 on the Kingdom of Loathing site, uh, and they're pretty nice. Uh, the scale, if you want to compare, here's a Lego figure. They're a bit taller than that, so you could use these in your Lego LARPs as monsters or something. They're made out of resin, and uh, truth be told, they're not actually toys, they're figurines, uh, so they don't have any articulation. Uh, they all have a nice heft to them, and... Uh, I might as well just go individually. First on the left we have the Bugbear. This is a minor monster in the Kingdom of Loathing and I'm not really sure why they decided to include him. As you can see on the face sculpt it looks almost hand drawn like they put a lot of work into making this not look like it had a lot of work done to it. Uh, can't really see but there's a nice fur uh, pattern and uh, tail in the back. It's a nice toy though. Probably not my favorite just because it's kind of a minor character. But this is probably the heftiest and most durable out of all of these. Next up we have the Naga. Uh, this is a character from the Gnomish Nomads camp, their arena. And uh, when these figures came out, I think this was uh, a brand new, uh, that was a brand new area, or just about, so they decided to include this. Plus, this is one of the cooler looking characters. It's just solid black with two beady eyes and big teeth. Kind of looks like the troll from the Castle Crashers game. It comes with this stand that you sort of just sort of fit into it and then rest it against it. It stands quite nicely. Uh, probably my favorite figure from all of them, just because it looks really cool. Uh, next up we have the Sabertooth Line, which is a monster plus a familiar. It, uh, once again, it does look like the drawing, and uh, it's pretty neat. The uh, saber teeth are kind of uneven, which I think is nice, but they do seem kind of fragile. You have to be careful with this figure. Um... It comes with a really nice stand that makes it look like it's hovering, and uh, there's another nice figure. Uh, and then last but not least is the Baby Gravy Fairy, uh, familiar, and uh, basically it's a mushroom with wings, uh, sort of uneven eyes, but nice toadstool all around. And uh, the one downside to this one is that the wings are very loose. So if you're like, oh, I'm flying, and they fall off. So I should probably super glue them and uh, be done with it, but I'm too lazy. So anyway, these are the figures. Um, for the price, you know, it's pretty reasonable for four figures that are, like, handcrafted quality. They look really nice, and uh, if you're a fan of Kingdom of Loathing, I say definitely go for these. It's almost a shame they haven't made more of them, because I would definitely be willing to buy, like more figures. Um, I say go for them if you're a fan. If you're not a fan, you wouldn't bother with these anyway. Uh, well, this is my third review. Expect more reviews, including some Comic-Con stuff from this year. Um, probably in a week or so when I get back to my regular table. Until then, see you later!